Hello guys, this is Nelmar James Gado. Today, let's talk about basic integration rules, integral calculus. So we have here six uh, basic integration rules. Okay, number one is the integral of du is equal to u plus c. Number two, the integral of k times f of x dx equals k times the integral of f of x dx. Number three, the integral of u raised to n du is equal to u raised to n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c, where n is not equal to negative 1. Four, the integral of f of x plus or minus g of x dx is equal to the integral of f of x dx plus or minus the integral of g of x dx. Number five, the integral of du over u is equal to ln u plus c. And six, the integral of e raised to u du is equal to a raised to u plus c. Hi guys, uh, bago ko magsimula sa aking mga examples, pag narinig mo yung salita, uh, yung word na integration, ano bang ibig sabihin mo? Integration, ibig sabihin nito, ito yung reverse process ng pagku, uh, reverse process, pagkuha ng function, kung given yung ating mga derivatives. Di ba sa uh, differentiation, ginagawa natin, giving yung derivative uh, giving yung function tapos kinukuha natin yung derivatives dito giving yung derivatives kukunin natin yung pinaka uh, function niya original function niya no using yung integration yung process ng pagkuha ng anti derivative okay so example natin number 1 the integral of the integrals of the the integral of the that is equal to u plus C. Okay, anyway, kung meron tayong given na function na integral of f of x dx, this is what we call the integral sign. Okay, this is the integral sign. Okay, yung korteng bulate, yung letter S, integral sign. And... This whole thing is what we call the integral. Okay, integral. Integral. Yan buong yan. Kaya tawag natin yung integral. Okay. Ano naman yung dx dito? Ito yung variable of integration. Okay? Variable of integration. Okay. So, yung buong yan, integral, integral sign, this is variable of integration. So, example natin, number one, is the integral of du is equal to u plus c. So, example nyan is the integral of dx is equal to x plus Okay, palaging may plus C. Bakit? Kasi kung matatanong yun, yung uh, derivative ng constant is always equal to 0. Ngayon, kung given naman yung derivative, tapos kukunin natin yung uh, uh, pinaka-function, kailangan lalagay tayo ng constant. You know? Plus C palagi. Okay, another example, derivative of dz is Ah, sorry, the integral of dz is equal to z plus c. Kung mapansin nyo dito, dito sa ating integral, meron niya imagine na ating na 1. Okay, example number 2 natin is the integral of u raised to n with respect to u is equal to u raised to n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. Okay? So, example niya is example is the integral of x squared dx. Okay? Nasa form siya ng u raised to n. 
Okay, nasa form siya ng list. And yung yun natin dyan, yung x. Okay, yung yun natin dyan, ay yung x. Then yung du, yung dx. Okay? Kumbaga, eto, ang derivative nung u, du. Ang derivative nung x, dx. Okay? Then yung ating n is 2. Yung ating n is 2. So, x, kopi natin, sunda natin yung formula, 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 plus C. That is, final answer natin, x cubed over 3 plus C. Okay. So, kanyo namang i-n, mental, plus 1. Kung ano magiging exponent nyo dun sa, kung sa numerator, siya yung magiging denominator natin. Okay? So, x cubed over 3 plus C. Another example niyan, another example is, yeah, x raised to negative, the integral of x raised to negative 4 with respect to x, that is equal to, okay, that's equal to, um, x raised to negative 4 plus 1 over negative 4 plus 1 plus c. Then simplify x raised to negative 3 over negative 3 plus c. Kung gusto nyo, ang gawin na negative yung exponent to sa numerator, ibaba nyo lang. So that is also equal to negative of 1. So ibababa nyo na yung ano yung numerator na x raised to negative 3. So, 1 over, 1 over uh, 3x cubed na. Binaba na natin siya, naging positive na yung exponent. So, plus c. So, same lang yan, no? Equal lang yan. Okay. Okay. Uh, example number 3 natin is the integral of k times f of x dx is equal to k times the integral of f of x dx. So, ibig sabihin niyan, kung meron tayong constant na katabi ng function ng x, okay, so, ilalabas na natin yung constant doon. Okay, hindi na, hindi na natin siya i-integrate. Labas na natin yung constant, then integrate na natin yung, yung, yung function doon sa loob. The example niya is the integral of 5x squared dx. Okay. So, kanina kasi, minibigay ko, uh, wala siyang coefficient na, uh, wala siyang coefficient na greater than 1 or less than 1. So, dito ngayon, nakakawal tayo ng coefficient na katabi ng function ng x. So, yung coefficient natin, o yung constant natin dyan, ay yung, yung 5. Okay, yung 5. So, equal daw siya, pwede nyo ilabas na agad yung 5, figure of x squared dx. Then, gawin nyo na yung ginawa natin kanina, no? Ito, ito. Nasa form na siya ng u raised to n. Pwede nyo na siyang i-integrate. So, yung 5, doon lang yung sa labas. So, copy nyo lang yung 5. 5 times, okay, times. So, punin nyo na integral ito, x squared. So, x squared plus 1, tama, over 2 plus 1 plus c. Then, simplify natin. So, 5 times x cubed over 3 plus c. So, yun yung ating final answer. Okay, so, paano ang example natin? No? Okay, so, integral of 3x raised to 5 dx. Actually, kung pwede nyo nang iyan yun, no? erecta na agad. No? So, 3 times Correcta nyo na. Kunin nyo na integral ng ano, x raised to 5. So, x raised to 5 plus 1 over 5 plus 1 plus c. So, we have 3x raised to 6 over 6 plus c. And simplify natin yung 3 over 6. That is 1 half. So, 1 na yun yung numerator natin. So, x raised to 6 over over 2 plus c. 
Okay, rule number 4 natin is the integral of f of x plus or minus g of x okay, with respect to x is equal to the integral of f of x dx plus or minus the integral of g of x dx. So, ano ba ang sinasabi ng rule na yan? So, kung meron tayong uh, function or polynomial o function na more than uh, one term, so, ang gagawin lang natin, kunin lang natin, i-integrate lang natin yung bawat terms. No? I-integrate lang natin yung bawat terms dyan. So, example dyan, ito. The integral of x raised to 7 plus 2x plus 5 with respect to x or dx. Okay. So, that is equal also to the integral of so, gawin natin, i-distribute natin yung integral sign tsaka yung dx. So, the integral of x is to 7 dx plus the integral of 2x dx plus the integral of 5 dx. Okay? Ginawa natin, dinistribute lang natin yung integral sign tsaka yung dx doon sa bawat terms. Then, saka na natin siya pwedeng integrate using yung, yung mga rules kanina na binigay natin. Okay, dito, yung power formula, di ba? So, dito, x raised to 7 plus 1 over 7 plus 1. Actually, pwede nyo na siyang i-direct pa, eh, no? Plus 1 plus 1 lang naman yun. Kasi kung ano yung numerator natin doon, kung ano yung exponent ng numerator, gagawin natin siyang denominator, no? Okay, so plus, ito na, dito tayo. So, 2, Diba, diba ano siya? Diba constant siya? So, huwag yung nakapansin nyo. Napansin nyo na lang yung function ng x. So, x plus, diba, ang exponent niya is meron tayong 1 plus, plus 1 over 1 plus 1. Okay? Plus, okay, 5. Ilabas nyo na rin yung 5. So, yung 5, then integral daw nung dx. Diba kung nilabas nyo itong 5, nalagay siya yun, magiging equal yun sa 5 na integral of dx. Kaya, and since ang integral lang dx is x, di ba? Doon sa unang rule natin. Ang integral lang dx is x. So, 5x. So, sa madaling salita, kung meron lang man tayong constant, tapos kinukuha natin yung integration na, lalagyan nyo lang ng variable. Kung ano yung variable of integration na. So, lalagyan nyo lang ng variable na x. Since dx siya. Tapos, huwag niyo kakalimutan talaga yung plus c natin. So, saka na natin siya. So, uh, simplify. Simplify natin. So, x raised to 8 over 8 plus, okay. So, 1 plus 1 is 2. Meron tayong tools na numerator. So, cancel lang natin yan. So, matitira na lang is x okay, squared plus 5x plus c. So, ito yung final answer natin. Okay, para sa last example natin, dito sa rule na to, so another is the integral of 6x squared minus 4x plus 10 dx. So, ang gawin nyo lang, kunin nyo lang yung integral ng bawat terms. Okay, so we have the integral of, so kung ito nire-write natin siya, distribute nyo lang yung integral sign at yung dx. So, the integral of 6x squared dx minus the integral of 4 x dx plus integral of 10 dx. Okay? Then, kung may, may, may mga constant man, di ba? Pwede natin siyang ilabas. No? Doon sa rule number, rule number 3 natin. Okay, so 6, the integral of x squared dx minus 4, the integral of x dx plus 10, the integral of dx. Okay? So, pwede nyo na siyang i-integrate, di ba? Di ba? Ito, nasa, nasa form siya ng u raised to n. Ito rin. Ito naman, ito yung unang rule natin. So, pwede nyo na siyang integrate. So, 6 times, okay, plus 1 over, okay, so pwede nyo na siyang i-integrate. So, 6 times x raised to 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 minus 4, ito naman, 
may exponent ka na 1, di ba? Imaginary. So, 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 close plus 10. Okay. Integral of dx is x. So, x plus c. Okay. Then, simplify natin. 2 plus 1 is 3. And 6 divided by 3 is 2. So, 2x cubed. Okay. 2x cubed minus... Okay. 1 plus 1 is 2, so 4 divided by 2 is 2. So 2x squared plus 10x plus c. Okay. Hope you like my math video tutorial and that's all. Thank you.